Hello everybody. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic myself. Really excited to be here to do another project with you. Speaking of being here, I'm coming at you from a different angle. I had a couple of people mention that my angle was kind of hard to see things. So I'm really limited as what I can do as far as moving my camera and my space. So I'm hoping this works, this helps, this is better. Only you know, and only you can tell me because, you know, looking at it from my perspective, I thought it looked good. I knew that there were times that it was rough to see, but I wanted to be comfortable for you guys to see, not struggling. I mean, that's no fun. So if you would, let me know how this angle does and I'm hoping it's great. I'm hoping you really like it. So if you've ever been here before, then you know how I do things. If you've never been here before, then you don't. So I'd like to take a moment to explain. I use a number generating app to pick out my colors. I have numbered all of my colors. To date, I'm at 538 different colors. And that would be all my alcohol inks, my micas, my pigment paste, India inks, anything but like your glitters and embellishments and stuff like that. Everything else has a number. And I will do this. Let me put this in and get it to come up. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. How rude, but I just Google number generator and the first thing that normally pops up like immediately when it's doing this to me on purpose, look right there is the number generator. It comes up. So I just put in the parameters one through 538 and I hit generate. I'll do this four times to get four different numbers for four different colors. Now I have to use these colors for my project. Why you say? Well, this is how I came up with helping my block, my color block. I'm very indecisive when it comes to choosing colors for projects. I just wouldn't go outside of the box. Everything was just normal, vanilla, plain, not nothing exciting. Not like I wanted. I wanted to have zest and pow, you know? So I even watched other artists and tried to, you know, let them inspire me with their colors, but I don't have the same colors that they do. I mean, and I can't try to get them all. That's no way possible, even with all the ones that I do have. So that didn't work. I said, I gotta come up with something random. Well, number generator came to my head and I, how much more random can that be? And let me tell you, it's proved to be a lot of fun. Yes, a challenge at times, but a whole lot of fun because you got to work with this to see what color you can make this to go with that, how the paste and the alcohol inks work together or, the clear going with, it's just fun. It's a lot of fun. And I hope you've watched before and you know what I'm talking about. If not, I hope you will from now on and you enjoy this video. Um, in addition to, I have to use these four colors, I, or four numbers, colors that I generate. I can add additional colors. I can add all the embellishments that I want and I can pick the project. I just have to use the colors that were generated. And another little thing, I can call a mulligan. A mulligan is when one or more of the colors that were generated just aren't going to work with the other colors. No matter what I mix with it or add to it, it's just not going to work. So I'll generate another color to replace it. That happens. It does happen a lot. I'm not going to lie. But this is basically to serve as a guide because we certainly don't want uh, resin to be wasted because we have to stick to what was generated is what's got to be used because I am saying that's a rule, but this is kind of like my own guide that's all i can say is it's a guide and you'll see when it comes up if i have a mulligan and i need more than one color if how i can get another color to come with it look at my past videos you'll see it it's just it's fun it just makes it challenging i don't think it's anything wrong with it and i hope you don't either i hope you actually think it's kind of fun so here we go without any more explaining or blah 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 let's roll one through 538 generate well generate 385 next 74, third, 143, and our fourth number, 127. Okay, 385, 74, 143, and 127. Those are the numbers that the computer has given us, so I will put you on hold. I will go pull these, see what we're going to do, mix up some resin, and come right back. Hang tight. All right, gang, here's where I call the switcheroo, mulligan, whatever you want to call it. I've got 
Look, I just put, that one wasn't one of the colors. The colors that we got were 385 Ninja Black. 74 is Imperial Red. 143 is Turf by Pixis. It's alcohol ink, green, basically. And then Silver is 127. It's a metallic alcohol ink. So these are, these are pretty good colors together. I mean, kind of. I would pulled the mint green because I think I would want to make that green lighter. But then I look at it and it's kind of Christmassy. So I thought maybe if I generate another number, this could be the number that I add to it. Then I'd see what we got. So are you with me? Let's do it. 81. Let's see what color that is. I think it's another black, actually. I think, I think, I think. Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, but I don't think it's any help. Ooh, not at all. Not at all. So, know what I say? Let me get another piece of help because this is still my numbers that I'm going to add myself because I'm still sticking with these numbers. I haven't veered away from them. I haven't mulliganed any. I am just getting some help with my numbers. So, this is 188. And y'all are welcome to fast forward if you like, but if you'd like to see a little bit of fun, then hang tight. Hang with me for a moment. See what I get. See if I flop. I got a blue. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I had a dumb question. What makes blue? I should know that. Watch me Google it. I'm Googling it. Don't laugh. Or do. You know what? It's okay. I'm not embarrassed to say that I don't know something. Does yellow and green make blue? So what are the two colors you can mix to make blue? Cyan, greenish blue with magenta, purplish red. Alright, so I got green. For greenish blue, greenish blue with purplish red to get blue. And then this color I just pulled. So that would be these colors, silver, black, and I would get a blue with these. Huh. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see what else I get. Let's generate another number. See if I get another blue or something to go with those. 96. Um, what did we get? Uh, I don't think that's much help. Silver ash, that's not really much help because that's between the black and the silver. 23. 23. That might be a good one for us. Yes, sir, Bob. It is intense ghost blue. That is just what we need. It's something to lighten the party up. All right, so I'm not using this one. We originally generated 385, 74, 143, and 127. I have since then picked for my own colors Azure Blue, number 188, number 81 is Purple Haze Diamond Effect, and then Intense Ghost Blue, number 23. So, I need to mix, let me write this down. It was the cyan, the greenish blue, greenish blue, with magenta, purplish red. So, I have a purple and I have a purplish, I mean, I have a purple and I have a red, right? Red and purple. And then I need a green and a blue. So that's going to make me a pretty blue. And then I'll have this intense ghost blue, silver, and black. Bam, baby, how you like me now? I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we shall see. And we shall see together. I'm going to go mix up resin and everything and figure out what project we're going to do. Any ideas on what you want to do? I'll figure it out. Oh, before I go, though, I did this project. And I was supposed to be recording it. I was going to try and do a short, you know, fast forwarding through it and try and do all that. I'm not very good at it. Sorry if I bumped y'all. This is going to take a little getting used to. But apparently I had it in slow motion the whole time. So 
I have this project and I would really like to unveil it. And I didn't want to do it alone. So you, my friends, are here with me. Let's check this out. I tried a bloom. It's been a while since I did one and I'm not real good at them yet. I try. I don't try as often as I should though. Otherwise, I'd be better at it, I believe. You know how that goes. All right, ready? Here we go. Bam! <gasps> wow. I think that's pretty good. What do y'all think? I got some blobs, but not as blobby as I thought. I like the rainbow behind it. And this was really, really important because I was introducing um, a new color from my new angel. I have a new angel, Melody, who wanted orange for her mom, Ruth. So this is actually the color Ruth, also known as Tangerine by Pinata. But I have to do another video because this one wasn't a full video for Ruth. So Melody, I will do another video. I just gotta find something that orange works with for me because it's a cool color. It's just hard to blend with other things, but I'll find something to just be patient. So I hope you like this that I did do for you. I just didn't get to do the whole video for you to see it. Now I hope Ruth likes it. All right, that's that. So I'll be back, hang tight. Hey everybody, I'm back. Got everything for the party. I probably have a little too much for the party. I just a last writing on what color I make with these colors. So before I can do anything, I've got to go ahead and mix up my colors so I can figure out what embellishments I want to do. I know what project I want to do. I just, I would love to use some of these beautiful stones that I got that I've had and haven't been able to use them. So hopefully my blue will match some of these. One of these, something. And I got this, this is a crushed rock that I've colored silver myself. I got stuff, and then that doesn't count the 200 glitters I got over here on the wall I want to be able to use. I just don't know which one. So let's do this. Let's mix it up. All right. <clears throat> now, you should know that I like to add a little bit of mica. I like to add my mica to a little bit of resin. I'm going to move this out of the way right now. So it, it mixes up easier. Let me grab my stick. Sorry, I'm ill-prepared. I was just a little excited because... um. I didn't tell y'all the best part. I didn't tell y'all what we we're doing. This looks like an average tray, right? It's an average tray, but look. You add a couple of these on there. You know what you got? A shelf. We're going to make a pretty shelf. So, here we go. I move those out of the way. I've been wanting to do this, and today's the day, my friends. Today is the day. I am going to seize the day and make a shelf. Just you and me. We're going to get this porn party started. Woo! Here we go. We're going to add some of this purple haze, purple haze diamond effect. And this stuff, any of these diamond effects are so sparkly and pretty. I mean, really. They really, really are. All right. Got some purple in there. And see, the bad part about this is, is I need to make enough right off the bat. Because, you know, you can't go messing and adding and everything to get the exact same match. I gotta get it right the first time. That makes sense? I gotta get it right. There is no making more if need be. Okay. It's hard to believe these colors are gonna make blue. Or no. What am I making? Blue. But I'm using bluish green to make blue. I don't know, y'all. Help me. I'm just doing what the thing said. Let's just do it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what color we get. This is really pretty. I just don't know how we're going to get... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hogging it. I got to get used to where y'all are, okay? It's really pretty pink. All right, we got that mic in there. All right, this one I'll put over here because that one's gonna be for clear. Now let's put some of this intense ghost blue. I tell you, sometimes these little bags are boogers.
And it looks like I'm getting low on this one. And it, if I run out of this, I will try to replace it with the exact same color. Actually, I'm, I am because that's it. There's not enough to do another project. But I will try and replace it with the exact same color. If not, then another color will go in its place. I keep colors on the side, so. You know, when I order them, I don't put them all out right away. For just this reason, when things run out, I gotta have something for that number, right? In case it's generated. At this time, I am missing a number, and I don't remember which one it was. We were in the pour yesterday. And I found the number right before it, and I found the number right after it. I just can't find that number. And because the way my numbers are, I have them all in order. But sometimes the order might go from here, the 100s, then over here, the part of the 100s. And I had to do it that way because of how my color system has grown. But everything is written down. There's record of it. This one, I just don't know where the record is. Or... The record doesn't reflect the appropriate place, I should say. All right, so that was the ghost intense blue, right? Intense ghost blue. I was close. All right, now this one is just, oh, well, this one's black. That's what it is. The next one is silver. And I know with the metallic alcohol inks, they don't normally do very well. So I was just going to go ahead and add some silver um, pigment powder in it. Might as well, right? Because, um, I mean, if you want silver, you want silver. You don't want a half butt color. You really don't. All right, so this is Ninja Black. So that's why, yeah, I thought I would mix in Silver Knight by Lorez. To go ahead and make it silver true silver and this is ninja black i've ordered a true black paste a true black or a true red paste for a true red i am just i mean not that the ones i have are fake they're just not that like a red. I, all of the reds have a pink hue to it or an orange hue to it. Most of them are pink and it drives me crazy. I don't want a pink red. I love pink, but I don't like pink, the pinks that come out with the red. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this one for the silver. I'm making a mess. This stuff loves to fly. I dropped one. All right. There's a little bit of that in there. And that just melts in there. It's so cool. After it flies around a little bit. It's so pretty. All right, so our colors look pretty good. We just got to get this into a blue. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pour some clear. Put that over here just in case. The just in case cup. Okay. I wonder if there's a kid out there that has a last name Case and his first name is Justin. I just thought of that. I don't know if somebody, if I'm just low, slow on that one or not, but it just popped in my head. I tell you that when I started this new job I was working at, they got me with all kinds of stuff. Mr. Lions from the zoo. Um, there's one that is not very polite to say uh, in Nick's company, so I won't say it. I just say the guy's name was first name was shortened from Michael and it's a sport where you uh, go after animals so you know hunting shorten that and I'll let y'all figure that one out they needless to say we laughed it was a lot of fun 
but I ended up getting pregnant, not ended up getting pregnant. After trying for a long time to get pregnant, it finally, the blessing finally happened right after I started working at this job. So you know, that didn't go over very well. And then I hated the job. I was miserable. And I tried, I mean, I wanted to like it. This color is gorgeous. It really is, I don't wanna mess it up. But I have to, I gotta use the green. That's beautiful. I gotta remember that purple haze and imperial red. All right, I gotta add the silver to this, which is probably kind of silly too. You're not gonna be able to tell, but you know how the effects alcohol inks have. So maybe it'll have an effect that we don't notice right away. Right? Right. All right, so now I'm going to add green and blue to this beautiful pink purple over here. Ah! Here we go. Fingers crossed, guys. If I can get it open. Goodness. All right. That much. And that much. I just squirted it, y'all. And it's not really easy way to... What do we get in here? Not blue. It's just getting prettier, though. It's just becoming more of a purple. Look at that. Wow. How about we do a little more? Blue. Pretty fun, huh? I think so. Anyway, I hope y'all are enjoying it. I just don't see us getting blue, gang. We've just gotten a beautiful purple, though. Yeah, it's like a plum color, I guess. And I'm happy with it. I am happy with it. Should I add a, a hint of purple? Just a smidge of purple to this? Nah. You won't be able to tell up beside the purple that it's blue. I think it'll take more of the purple hue onto it. What do y'all think? Hmm? Hmm? Answer me. Somebody tell me what they think. All right. So now, none of the rocks that I showed you guys are going to work. Because, well, some of them might have that purple hue in there I can use. Let's check it out. I'm not in a rush because I didn't warm up the um, resin any. And the temperature is 70 degrees in here tonight. No heat, no air, just a little bit of a fan to blow the stuff out of my face. Beautiful night. Beautiful day. I love days like this. I just had to clean that up, y'all. I'm sorry. If you know me, then you know that I had to clean that up. Okay. So, let's look at these rocks that I have. That I think the silver ones we can use, for sure. Somewhere. Then these. Wait a minute. These, this. That'll look good, won't it? So how do I want to do it? These look good too. Wipe my hands real good. All right, these blues got to go. They're not going to work. these pink ones. Yeah. I wonder if I make, if I add clear to this, if I can get more. Let's try that. Because I like it. And I want more of it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. 
Yeah, I did it. Okay, so what do we decide, yay or nay? I mean, some of it's got that hue to it. Not these. These? Yeah, that's more purple. This has got what, sort of like this. I'll keep them out. We'll see when I, um, when we get it down here, where we want to put everything. Okay. I'm lost right now. I'm not sure which one, which way I want to go with what. Anybody got any, any ideas for me? I got a mess. That's what I got. And it's, I'm discombobulated number one, because y'all are over there, not up there. And I'm going to get used to it. It's just going to take a few minutes. All right, so how do I want to pour this, gang? I do it like this. Put the purple down the middle. Put these, like, along the front. Let me cut these. I'm going to cut them in the cup because there's little little beads on here. And I don't want them going everywhere. y'all on hold. I'm going to get some things together, other things now that I have my color, and I'm going to come right back to you. I'm going to do some thinking, okay? Hang tight. Hey, everybody. I'm back. All right. Look at that little net. What a brave little dude. Okay. Um, as you can see, I went around and I put the crushed rock in, and I put in the shelf anchors. Now, I don't know how I want to pour it. <laughs> I really don't. I think I'm going to go with the clear, and then I'll do the silver. Or should I do the clear and then kind of just have no rhyme or reason? Why don't I have no rhyme or reason? I like that idea. So I'm just going to slowly take all this clear and go around. I think these rocks look beautiful. I made them by taking alcohol, isopropyl, 99% isopropyl alcohol, and use some of the Let's Resin metallic powder. And I had these uh, antique gold color rocks is what the, they were. So um, I put the silver on them. They are now silver, no longer antique gold. And I like them. I did them in uh, one of my big pictures, ocean scenes that I do. It was really pretty. And this is going to be nice and coated. You know, and obviously this is going to be above the mold. It's not going to be below it. Nice rugged side. I think it'll look really cool. All right. I'm, there's like a smidge. Just in case, I guess. All right. So now let's just go free for all. Because I can't think of a better way to do it. Can you guys, can you think of anything better? Speak now. <laughs> this purple is just gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, nowhere close to a blue, so I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I thought I did what Google said to do. This is the Ghost Intense Blue. Can't tell. It's picking up that purple pretty nicely, huh? 
very little of this. That's all. I don't want to do any more of that. What do y'all think? Is the groovy or what groovy? I've been watching the series Cold Case. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not. But, you know, it was back in the early 2000s. Um, I can't think of the girl's name that plays uh, Lily Rush. She's the detective. And uh, the guy who used to be on Law & Order for a little while, his name was uh, Nick. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember his name either. But he's really a Latino guy, really cute. He was Liv's partner on Law & Order. That guy. Well, he plays in this cold case. It's not real files that have been put away and not worked on or solved. These are all fictional. And they take a look at old cases and they solve them. Well, the, lately it's been a lot of the 1960s uh, times. I like the times, I mean what I see on TV. And of course it was rough times. I think every time is rough though. But um, it was really rough for our, our black American friends. Not a good time for them at all. But um, Vietnam was going on and you know, it was a hard time. And we got a hard time now, but I'm not going into that. My point was is that the 60s seemed like they were pretty cool in, in other ways. Definitely, um, respect was different. You know, you had to eat dinner at the table. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. People wanted to work. You know, stuff like that. All right, I think I'm going to do one more little hint of black. And then I think that's all we need. Okay, what do y'all think? It looks pretty, doesn't it? I think it does. Um, don't really think I need to put much more in there because it'll be overflow with. We don't want it to overflow with. We want it to be just perfect. And I think I'm looking at pretty perfect right this second. Pretty perfect. Just how things worked out. So, and guess what? There's no funky effects going on with this, so I can put it on the resin curing plate, and it'll be done in an hour, hour and a half. But you know what? Something might happen with the colors and everything, so I'll leave it for an hour to do its thing, and then I'll put it on the resin curing plate. Then it'll take about two and a half hours total. But right now, I've got a lot of resin I need to do something with. So, I'm not gonna put any more in here. I'm going to tell you to hang tight. When I come back, we will have a cured piece. We'll see what we have. Okay? Hang tight, gang. I have to find my stylus over here. Got to reach in front of you. Good morning, everybody. Good half a second to you. I am coming to you very early in the morning. It is 5.30. I couldn't sleep. I was very excited to come out and check on our project. I kind of came out a little while ago to see if I needed to turn the heat on. I didn't. So I uh, said, so let me go finish my coffee. And uh, I don't think I got enough of it. But here I am. Here we are with our cured piece, our shelf. So let's do it. Let's get it out of here. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I forgot this thing. Right. There we go. How pretty. 
Nice and flat. Ready? Bam. Oh, wow. How cool is that? That is freaking fantastic. Man, look at our color that we made up. Wow. All right, so see, this side is rough. So I already had a plan for this. I'm gonna take and put some of the silver up on here. And, oh, I can't do that because then you can't use the screws. Oh, I know what I can do. I'll put the screws in there and do it around the screws to make sure I don't cover the screws, right? Then this can be used on the top or the bottom. The person can, whichever they decide. Because this is like this, I'm going to put the rocks on there too. I guess. Hmm. What do y'all think? What should I do? I think that's the best idea. Put the screws in and do the rocks the best that I can around it. And oh, I'm going to UV resin it. So, we just put them in there. I got to figure out a way to jack this up. And I'll put the rocks around it and then um, UV resin it. What do y'all think? Sound good? Sound like a winner? This is going to be quite tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. But that's okay. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Sam I am can do it. Have no fear. Sam I am is here. All right, so I'm going to figure out a way to do this. And if I can do this with you guys here, then I'll do it. But one way or the other, I'll be back. Hang tight. All right, gang, I've pretty much gone around and did this. I um, UV resined. See, where is it at? <laughs> Trying to get used to this angle. See how I did that? I'm gonna show you how I did one piece of it. Just. I put the screws in with the tape on the back, holding them in. Now I take a little bit of this UV, oh, wait a minute. I gotta put a rock on there. And these rocks are pretty goodly chunked together because of the way I made them. And I'm trying to, remember I gotta not cover the screw. So this one's kind of covering it. But a good drill gun will get this hung on the wall, which is what it's going to take when you do shelves. You can't just go in there with a screwdriver. See, we cover that up. Are you seeing this? Can you see it? Please tell me you can see it. I don't know what I'm going to do about getting you guys a better angle. I'm trying. Okay. So, that's done. Move this out of the way so I can get to where I need to get. See? Don't you think that'll look good? So if it's hanging on the wall like this, like, um, I need something for y'all to see. Like, if it's hanging on the wall like this, oh, that's the dirty side. <laughs> this is a little better. It's, but see, it'll have the rocky side. Even whether it's up or down, it'll hide those silver pieces, which the brackets, you got to have those for the shelf. So we just made it look a little prettier. So guys, what do you think? What do you think of our project? Do we do a good job? Did I do a good job? Did you like it? You know what I'm going to ask for next? Let me move this out of the way real quick. I want to make sure there's no UV resin that I'm getting into. One little second, please. Okay. So, that's what we got. We have a pretty little shelf. And I would really hope 
that you guys will give me a thumbs up while you're there. Go ahead and subscribe. Maybe uh, register for the notifications. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it sure helps my channel and the algorithm. It's all about the algorithm, guys. That's what determines where my videos are seen and who they're seen by. It likes to have likes, subscription or subscribes, watch multiple videos. Uh, I say that every time. Videos back to back. Any of those things help tickle the algorithm's fancy. So if you don't mind, tickle my algorithm. I certainly appreciate it. A couple other things down in the description, you'll see the giveaway that I'm doing when I reach 500 subscribers. All you have to do is like, subscribe, send me a comment that you did so. I'll send you a number back. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to have the number generator generate a number for the winner. Also, I'm doing an honorary color in your name or the name that you choose. If you make at least a $5 PayPal donation. All the details are down in the description for that. I have a couple angels already. If you'd like to join them, I'd greatly appreciate it and love to have you. Just check out the details down in the description. And I believe that's everything I have to go over. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the this perspective that I'm coming to you at, you got to let me know if this is a better angle or not. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hoping it's better, though. All right, gang. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye.